As it turns out, American-based Xbox doesn't have too many disturbing games released solely outside of the United States. You'll figure, right? That's okay, though. Japan doesn't have a trademark on weird. While deep in research, there were too many disturbing games to pass up, especially when peeking into the now defunct Xbox Live Indie Store. Maybe these games were too disturbing for America after all. Before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe to The Gamer and ring the bell to stay up to date with all things gaming. Here are 10 Xbox games too disturbing for the USA. Number 1. Gal Gun Cupid has a tendency to be a complete ass. Apparently in this game, he's got angel apprentices, also known as a weak excuse to drive the plot forward. Long story short, this apprentice accidentally shoots this poor kid with several Cupid arrows. That doesn't sound like an accident to me. It sounds like a lawsuit. Anyway, this poor kid is now being hunted down by all of the lovesick girls in his school. Okay, so not so bad. Oh, wait. He's gotta find one of four true love girls by sunset? What happens if he doesn't? He'll be forever alone for life? Number 2. Metal Wolf Chaos Ah, Japan exclusives! What could possibly be weird here? Everything! So there's a new civil war in America in the 21st century. You get to play as Michael Wilson, the fictional president of the United States, who also happens to be a relative of 47th President Woodrow Wilson. So you and the vice president, Richard Hawk, Dick Hawk, uh, work together to fight the insurrection. You know, just like the real civil war. Right. You're an unstoppable patriotic team right up until old Dick Hawk tries to usurp you. Stay in your lane, Dick. You are not the president-elect. So the rest of the game is you as President Michael Wilson in a mechanized suit of armor known as the Metal Wolf reuniting the nation. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this game. I actually kind of want to play it now. This is patriotic as f Number 3. Try Not to Fart Uh... Pretty sure the title says it all. Have you ever found yourself on a date conversing with a beautiful woman when your gut starts to rumble? You've got smoke blowing around the bear and one wrong move could unleash a wicked cheek flapper. This game's all about keeping that thunder from down under in your booty. Your date will notice if you attempt a two-cheek sneak and over time, a brownish haze will fill the screen if you've unleashed one too many ghost turds. The worst part about this game, the dialogue sounds like you started 10 different conversations with as many NPCs as you could find. Number 4. Mount your friends. Oh, what's better than a couple of greased up muscle men in banana hammocks? Think about their oily, greasy pecs. Think about them! Got an answer yet? Okay, I'll tell you. Stacking them. Taking their veiny, sweaty bodies and just piling muscle men upon muscle men. Watching them slip and slide all over the place. Muscles pressed on muscles. Multicolored banana hammocks building a sleek muscle toned tower to heaven. Hmm, <laughs> for those of you who are very, very interested in this game, it's still available on Steam. Number 5 Techno Kitten Adventure. Who in the hell gave kittens jetpacks and set them afloat in a whimsy shire techno redux? Yeah, that's it. That's the gameplay right there. This seizure-inducing, kitten-rave fiasco of a side-scroller. I guess the developers did everyone a favor. They didn't put the name of whatever they were on in the title this time. I'm looking at you, LSD Dream Emulator. Although Techno Kitten Adventure sounds like something a wildly inappropriate, middle-aged man tempted me with once outside a porta potty at Coachella. What have you heard? Nothing happened! Number 6. Fatal Seduction how many minutes does it take to completely derail whatever sanity it is you have left? About 10 minutes, start to finish. Don't believe me? Fine! Go ahead and play this terrible side-scroller from Silver Dollar Games. Let me give you a little forewarning, though. A legal disclaimer, if you will. The game is a flashback from a female mental patient. Why is she in a mental institute? Oh, an angel straight up told her to kill her dad's girlfriends. Why? Preventing the birth of the Antichrist. Duh! So the bosses are fetuses. Did I mention that the girl narrator is about 8 years old? Let that sink in. Number 7. Cute Things Dying Violently They probably should have called this making of a young serial killer the game. I kid, I kid! 
You're actually supposed to not let the cute things die horribly violent deaths like being sawn to pieces or driven downward into giant sharp spikes. Sure, the blood splatter is kind of pretty and… No! No! I will not fall victim to my cute aggression! The whole idea is to keep those meaty little hunks of adorable whatever it is they are in one piece. So what's with the title then? Did the developers know that we're all twisted maniacs at heart? Number 8. Don't be nervous talking to girls. If you got excited for a minute there because you have trouble talking to girls, get ready to be disappointed. Take one terrible green screen and plop a 90s hot actress in front of it. Then throw in a handful of outdated graphics and a choose-your-own-adventure style storyline and you've just created a monster. I mean, this game. Remember those VHS tape dating services from the late 80s and mail-order brides? This is some kind of hell spawn of that. Number 9. Pajamarama If 90s movies are to be believed, slumber parties are times for… <clears throat> experimentation. And pillow fights are just f***ing sexy. Oh, y'all just freeze each other's bras and make future telling devices out of paper and black magic? Disappointing. In any case, this pillow fighting game isn't sexy anyway. The girls in this game look like olive oil's distant cousins with a bit of a <laughs> bit thrown in for good measure. <laughs> It's like a failed attempt at being provocative, like when you cover yourself in flavored massage oil only to find out that you're, like, deathly allergic to it and uh, not that I would know anything about that. Number 10. The Hoichi Play No! Bad! Now you've just gone too far. A game about some old creeper dude trying to sneak up on cosplayers? What the f*** is wrong with you? He doesn't even do anything once he sneaks up on them. That's the end of the level. What is this, the prologue? I don't even want to know what the next title holds once Ted Bundy 2.0 works up the courage to do whatever the hell it is he's planning. Well, that's it for this video. I'm gonna go scrub my skin with a steel wool pad. What's the most disturbing Xbox game you've ever played? Do you want to play any of the games on this list? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our videos. Thanks for watching. Super Mario Maker was the first game that allowed us to create our very own levels for